ever wondered what happens at the museum when the lights are out? Well, it may not be as extreme as this hit Hollywood film, but one of Canterbury's most popular attractions throughout the day is now open at night with the lights out and open to explore. Canterbury Museum have been doing the Night at the Museum event for the last 11 years, loosely based on the Hollywood blockbuster movie of the same name. This year's theme evolved around the creepy crawlies, linked to one of the museum's latest displays, and one of the organisers says a lot of work has gone in behind the scenes to make it happen. Well, it's a greater team effort, really, and I think that's a great thing. So about six months out, we have several groups within the museum. So we have our comms team, we have our public programs team, and then we have our exhibitions team. So we all put our ideas together on the table, come up with all sorts of bizarre ideas. <laughs> the young Cantabs are asked to dress up in their favourite insect costume and take a tour around the displays in their pitch-black rooms. And I also made an effort with this groovy headset. But besides the dress up and getting lost in the museum, the idea is to find as many creepy insects as possible. And Marissa says she's hoping for a large crowd. Over 7,000 people over the four nights, so it was incredible, it was really well done. I think that was the first time we had run Night at the Museum post-quake, so it was good to see people in the community coming back out again. And the idea around this year's theme came from their own exhibit on display. We called it Creepy Crawly because we were basing it around our spiders exhibition, Punga Weri Weri, Spiders Up Close. So that was a good, good way of linking it in. There were some interesting objects on display, snakes hanging off the statues, cars and animals with the crazy eyes, but wait for it. It's not just the googly eyes and spiders or even this in my head that's popular, it's actually something that's on the floor. I'd have to say the grossest part first might be the little parcel of goodies that the dinosaur left behind, <laughs> swarming with flies. But what you may not have heard, um, that I heard this afternoon when it was all nice and quiet, the buzzing, swarming bee flies around, around that nice little parcel of poo. <laughs> but she says more importantly, it's a place to learn about Canterbury's history in a new and creative way. We're very much our discovery place and I think a place of learning, a place of real stories and I think that's what part of the museum, Night at the Museum is about, about getting people to come, yeah, explore the museum. It's very much a team effort with many taking the time to volunteer their commitments to help out. I really enjoy the readings for little kids. Um, I just really like giving the power of story out to everyone and it's the seeing the joy in their faces is really nice. But Marissa says it's not just for the young families. We do find that the grandparents come along as well, so it's not just about the young families. The teenagers come, they want to be part of it as well. So, uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting. People don't want to miss out. And there was a positive vibe from the explorers as well. I think it's good for the kids to come in the dark and run around and have a good look at things just the way they are. Really, really good that it's put on and you know, entertaining and fun. It's great, yeah, yeah, we love it. We do it every kids' fest, yeah. The next event is scheduled for Thursday night at the museum. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.